You want your breakfast? You want your breakfast? Is that what you want? You want your breakfast, Magna? <laughs> Are you tired of waiting? Are you tired of waiting? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> Is that what you're telling me, Magna? You're tired of waiting for your breakfast? All right, I'll get it for you. Look at that, guys. Grant's out in the yard. Grant's out in the yard. <laughs> he needs his eyebrows trimmed and his face washed. He's been struggling a little bit today with his back legs. Struggling a little bit. He's an old man. So, it is... What is today? Today's Monday and it is 80 degrees and hotter than heck. It, it's October 2nd, I believe, and it feels like summer. And it's going to feel like summer through Wednesday, I believe. It's going to be in the 80s. I think Wednesday it's going to be like 83. And then we're going to drop. And we're going to be in the 50s. And then I'm going to be sick. <laughs> My sinuses are going to give me heck when the weather changes. My, my allergies and sinus issues are terrible spring and fall, like everybody else. Um, yeah. Boys are loving it, though. Boys are loving it. Look at Grant. He's just sitting out there in the sun. This is rare. <laughs> or he's tired. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on him because it is hot out. I don't know if he wants to be sitting there or if his legs are just bothering him. I'll keep an eye on him. Magnum is so happy. He's so happy. I got to groom him this week. Yeah, so Mickey's up there on the porch. Hi, Miggy. You noticed um, when I turned on the camera, he didn't run and get his ball because I have all the toys in that brown tote up on the porch. Um, that nail that fell off um, that I told you about, guys about, um, when I took him to the vet, they pulled it off the rest of the way because it, it was just hanging there. That t toe where the quick is drying up is still pretty sore and he wants to play but then his toe hurts so I just decided to put all the toys in the brown tote for a while um just so his orange ball and his frisbee aren't out there taunting him um so yeah so he's doing he's doing good though I did make I did go out and buy him some tube socks um, uh, some of you sent me a picture that was going on around Facebook where you cut the tube sock from the top of the sock down and then you put the tube sock on the leg and then tie it up around their neck. Um, I do put that on him so he don't have to wear the cone as much, but he's, he's just got his cone on right now because he still will lick the sock and we want that quick to stay dry. So, um so it can dry up good so it's not so painful um so that's why i can't keep the sock on him right now um totally instead of the cone because he will still get that sock pretty wet and uh i 
think the chipmunk I think the chipmunk came back here thinking there was wood here because remember I had all that wood for our fire pit lined up there well the last of it is over by the fire pit and usually that squirrel would come around under the fence and then go hide behind the wood if the dogs are back here <laughs> so it must have said oh no the wood's not here and turned around and left <laughs> Thank goodness uh, Miggy didn't go running because I really don't want him in the rocks with his weak toenails right now. I'm scared he'll break one. So I'm thinking today I'm going to get the um, that black fencing I have, like the playpen fencing for dogs. And I'm going to put it up around these rocks in case that happens again. Because um, I have no problems with the rest of the rocks in the yard. It's just over there where that chipmunk um, obviously is still coming through the fence and wanting to go over in that area. So I'll have to do that later today. But yeah, everybody's doing good. Yeah, Grant's still out there in the back. I think I'm going to have to go scoop him up so he doesn't get too hot because it looks like he looks like he's panting. So, all right guys, just wanted to do a quick video. Um, let you know how everybody's doing. Everybody's doing good so far. Miggy's doing good so far. I really can't tell if any other toenails are loose. One is kind of is split and it bothers him. It's on his back foot. Um, but I've been trying not to mess with his feet too much. But as you can see, he's standing on his right foot again. Um, he hadn't been standing on that foot since he had his surgery. Oh my gosh, what's it been? Over four weeks ago. So he is, now that that nail is gone, that it fell off, and that quick is drying up, he is walking on his leg again. So I know he's not as, he's not in pain on that foot anymore, like he was. Um, so I guess that's my sign. That's what I'm gonna have to look for, is when he's kind of holding a paw up, I'll know when a toenail's about to come off, I guess. I don't know, this is all new to me, guys. All new to me um this issue with his toenail so all right guys i'm gonna go get grant i think he's not sure where he is um that seems to be getting a little bit worse and worse as the days go by usually it's just at night this happens but it's obviously happening now uh during the day he's getting a little lost so i'm gonna go pick him up get him in the house and into the coolness so he can cool down and we will talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.